Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box for Technical Trader. It's Thursday, January the 12th. These are the charts of the day. Well, the market uh, continues to press ahead uh, ever so slightly today, but uh, a lot of stocks we follow had good days, and let's take a look at some of them that had significant moves. One of the rare earth stocks, Quest Rare Minerals, which had this long downtrend line over the last uh, eight or nine months, um, reversed here and came back down and retested, then worked its way higher. Today popped for 25%. That's 65 cents on a million four, closing at 320. That's the exact high of the day, the nice going going away type uh, close. There was a little bit of resistance here from the um, end of December high, but I believe the stock makes it up towards the 385 area for an initial test, and then eventually we'll get a run at the final range up here. Nice base though, developing. MFLX, big day today, up 387, with a big breakaway gap. Moved up through the um, late October high and moved through a zone of resistance here that could lead this stock up into the high 20s, perhaps even th uh, 30 at these highs up in here. That's my trading target. <clears throat> BDSI, um, the other day we noticed the big breakaway gap and then a two-day little pullback on lower volume. Uh, it started to move back up yesterday and today popped through resistance. Now there is a gap here that needs to be filled up around 290. That's my next target. Secondary target 330. Dick Sporting Goods with a big day. You can see how it uh, gapped up across the um, five wave declining channel here and back up to the 50 and um, even got to this resistance zone before it worked its way up near much more overhead resistance at the 42.43 zone, which I expect to be tested short term. Radian RDN up 27 cents, 10%, but the nice base that's developed gives me encouragement that the long term downtrend may be taken out. We already went through this declining top line today with a thrust, traded 15.8 uh, million shares, and it's likely going to test the 345.50 zone short term. Once we get through that, I would look for something up around four and three quarters five. My tech, a big day today, following up on the heels of yesterday's move, which broke it out of the wedge. That closed it right out around the 50. Today it exploded through that and took out the uh, early December high for a new. Um, <clears throat> six week high here um, and with some resistance up around nine and three quarters that's my short term swing trade target but I do believe this thing's going to get to 12 or better STMP very important move today you can see this long two and a half month wedge popped up 256 or 9.6% a million shares traded and at this point we may very well get this to run into the high 30s but let's first take out the, um, the highs reached in uh, November around 33 TSL, uh, one of the um, solar energy stocks, which didn't look like they were going to fall through this morning, but they came roaring back from 861 at 1032. And over the last two days alone, it's gone from about 730 up to 1030. That breaks it out of the wedge pattern, the coil pattern, I should say, and across the lateral resistance. And I think our next target is going to be around 13. Biotech ALNY with a nice pop of almost 9% today, up 82 cents on 1.1 million. Stepping back a bit, you'll see the long-term declining top line was break and broken, as well as lateral price resistance, as it convincingly broke up and through that area. And at this point, we may very well see a move up towards 12, my short-term target. Caribou Coffee on the move. A significant price volume surge took place today, and not so much to volume, but the price broke out of the wedge and through lateral resistance, and went to the highest level reached since September, uh, actually late August when it reached 15.85, today's high 15.60. So we can get up through here, we can test this 17 range, and the trade 17.40, which is a short-term target. Illumina, another nice day, and in, in, the, in looking at this chart, you'll see that the um, declining channel top was taken out there. Then lateral price resistance from the snapback rally in November uh, was exceeded yesterday, and then closed right at it. Today it followed through, 6.5%, $2.22. It looks like it's going to fill this gap shortly and move up towards the 40 range, our near-term target. EXAS. Now, when I look at the short-term pattern here, I see that these multiple tops were taken out a couple days ago and a little two-day flag took place, a stall right here. Today it popped 6% or $0.54 cents on a $1.1 million. And if you look at the overall chart pattern, you'll see that we are challenging these multiple tops from the last couple of years and I've moved through that 
should get us to 11 and a half, 12 is on my short-term target. And lastly, today's PCYC, which we put out yesterday as a swing trade, and today followed through with a dollar or 6%, uh, 1 and a half million share, 1.6 million actually. And looking back at the chart pattern, you'll see that the long-term channel, or this intermediate channel within the long-term channel, calls for a move that takes it up towards the 22, 23 range, our short-term target for PCYC, although I do have a swing trade on it around 19 and a half, three quarters. That's it for today and this week. I'll talk to you guys Saturday morning. You have a good weekend.